Welcome to today's voiceover. So, um, before we get started into anything, um, I just wanted to say sorry that I haven't been coding much. Um, I'm really, um, so basically with this video, I actually filmed it like last week. So, I, f I filmed it like a long time ago. Um, so that's why I'm really sorry. I really wanted to work on editing it really well you know that stuff just making sure it's perfect for everything but today we have um yeah so today we're just doing a giant voiceover and today is actually my first day of riding with a gopro and posting on social media basically and doing a voiceover so yeah, we. I'm very excited. I was so excited to film this because I really wanted to get home and just watch it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just really going to quickly talk about what we're doing right now because we're going to jog in a few seconds. So what, what was our main kind of thing today is to work on leads and uh, diagonals. So right now we're doing it at the walk, which I know you can post or there's no leads at walk. But right now we're just looking at where the horse's shoulder is and if like just um oh no we're doing like right left so basically we're doing it when the horse's hoof um kind of touches the ground and basically as no leads so the inside is the third feet and the outside is the second i think probably mistaken probably but anyway so if it is like that um so it's basically right now we're just saying when it's like but right now we're not saying two three because there's four beats in a walk we're saying right left right left so basically when the right or the left leg touches the ground so that's what we're doing right now please do not mind my hands yes th i was cold in this clip i my hands were like red and oh yeah there we go we started trot we started trotting so basically we're doing the exact same thing but right now we're doing it like right left right left so that that's why i'm putting away um oh yeah i didn't talk about who i'm riding so today we're riding sedona uh she i didn't i don't know if i posted her in one of my videos yet well you've seen that gray that's confetti and then you've seen like a another chestnut that's wrangler but yeah i have not posted sedona yet she had she did a bit of, she has a bit of like some coughs so that's what she just did there and yes yeah, so, and there yes she coughed <laughs> um like i knew that she was gonna cough about like after the mirror because i watched like the whole entire clip before with this audio on but then i took the audio off so i could do the voiceovers which i'm doing right now anyway so yeah Lucky me, I do not have to find music to put on here because I'm doing a voiceover. Anyway, so what was I talking about is, yeah, so we're just doing the same thing. We're just doing, we're just looking at, like, the shoulders in a trot. Um, and we're doing, like, right, left, right, left. We're just saying when the, they touch the ground. <laughs> so, yeah, and we, this is kind of, a, like, a practice for leads because we... Um, this is all, the whole thing of it is basically show practice, horse show practice. So right now what we're doing is we're basically just practicing leads for the cantering class. 
loping, but I'm not actually in a loping class because, well, I can lope, I can do it pretty good, but I didn't enter into the loping class because um, I was a bit too, um, this is just my first tour show that I'm going to and I was a bit too nervous for doing it, so yeah. <laughs> Anywho, so yeah, right now we're just trotting, doing that right-left exercise. We won't be posting in today's video because um, we are in Western Tattle and we don't need to post in a Western Tattle. So we're just doing the right left exercise. And here I'm just looking away to kind of feel. Um, I've, we've done this before. We've done diagonal, you know, diagonals coming on pretty well. So yeah, we, we are just doing leads. So this is a bit different from diagonals because diagonals would be like up up and then you would stand up whenever the shoulder is going up but right the leads are a bit different i can't even explain that because i do not know leads that well right now anyways so yeah we're right now we're just trotting doing that exercise me and the me and the rider who i'm riding with we're just doing it so yeah we're just sitting Okay, so we, uh, I just slowed Sedona down because we are going to do it at a lope now. So yeah, she, we're just, she's just saying like, we're going to practice it at a lope now. And this is the part where it's going to get a bit wobbly because, well, I apparently forgot how to lope. No, I'm kidding. I, I know how to lope, but I didn't forget it. Um, I'm just a bit, uh, how can I say, a bit rusty, because I haven't loped, so we are going to lope shortly, like, we're going to lope right now, she just told the other rider to go into the middle, so she can watch me, and, oh yeah, right now she's just going to instruct everything, so, yeah, we're just going to work on the actual leads, leads, leads things right now, so right now she just asked me a few questions, like, um, which lead is correct for the way you're going, that stuff, you know. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm very excited for you guys to see this part because this is my favorite part in the actual, well, voiceover, GoPro riding vlog thingy, thingy, whatever it's called. <laughs> okay, so right now, yeah, she's just talking to me about what we're doing and how to properly do it. Here's me just showing her how it's going to go. And so the reason that I need to practice leads, uh, as I said, I didn't enter any loping classes, but the reason that I am doing leads, okay, yeah, we're going to counter now, is because, um, there we go, countering. The reason that we are doing, I am doing leads is because I need to practice it a bit for, um, just so I don't really forget it, and also because my riding partner, who I'm riding with right now, is entering a riding class because I believe she has been to the uh, horse show that I'm going. So here is Sedona's just going on racing mode because um, she... Okay, let me finish about this. So yeah, that's why I need to... Oh. So Sedona, what I wanted to say is she will... She is a bit of a, like, a crazy little veal. She's pretty old. She's, like, 27. But she, um, she's more of, like, a horse that goes. She's more, like, go than wool. And, um, to be honest, um, horses that are more slower suit me a bit better than horses that go faster that you need to kind of chill with. Because Sedona, um, she, if you trot with her, like, a lot, she will want to trot in the walk and you have to calm her down she will get really excited and stuff she won't buck she won't do she won't rear she won't do any of that stuff but yeah she, she can get excited so here's me very much struggling to do my lead so i'm just saying like which lead we're going on to so yeah you get you guys can just watch me struggle
Here's me pointing to the lead. Okay, so here she let us have a bit of a break and just kind of chill a bit, walk, walk and chill a bit because right now uh, I just need to chill. I need to chill right now. Like, okay. Anyway, so right now we're just kind of walking around. I did my leads. Everything was good. So we're not doing any like flying changes or anything like that. Not, not right now. But we are learning on which lead you're going and we're not switching them yet. Here's me giving her a good pad because she was amazing. She is such a trustworthy horse. I love Sedona. Like, she, I know she, like, isn't maybe suiting me the best, but she is a really good girl. So, yeah. Here we go, we're just, um, this is, we took like a lot, a long break there, we just let my rider buddy practice the leads, and now Sedona had a bit of a break, and now we're doing leads again, so yeah, this is the part where, um, it kind of went a bit wonky, because this is why the GoPro is just going up and down, I was scared that it's, that it would have fallen off, because we were going crap crazy like i said before sedona can go really fast and get excited like a lot like she can she can get really excited so that's why we just had to kind of be like okay chill and she literally jumped in her counter she she jumped into it like literally we were walking i did everything like she jumped into the counter she was just like she, she like she legit she jumped so it was like Chill Sedona. <laughs> so yeah, we just I don't know what we're doing right now. I forgot I forgot this part of the clip. This was our last time loping, I believe, for this video. Uh, we're just gonna like take a big break in the middle, and we're just gonna hop off. So I will, t um, I won't be doing a voiceover for now, but when I hop off, I will. So we're just gonna let you guys get to watch me right now.
So here we go. We are done our break. We're going to the wall to dismount. This was a really fun ride, actually. Um, the only really thing that I definitely need to work on is my loping because I thought I was better at it. Like, what the heck? But anyway, we're fine. We're just gonna walk around and find a nice place to stop at the wall. So the reason that I stopped facing the wall is because uh that because um sedona always wants to come into the middle so i just that's a real i think that's a good idea if your horse always wants to come to the middle or to the wall but if it's to the wall your you have a i don't know i guess some horses do want to come to the wall but i don't know anyway here we go we are done riding so here's me just needing to back sedona up because she's facing the wall too much so i can't take off her reins so yeah, let's just take off her reins, and yeah, we are done. So yeah, we're just perfect. Here's me just giving her a good pat because she put such a such a good effort into today's ride. I think it's perfect. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just looking at how dirty my hands are because well, yeah. So I'm so glad I found these springs that we can give them a bath, like we can finally give them a bath and they need it no joke like they need it they need their bath so yeah Okay, we got Sedona all tied up, and now it's time to pop off her saddle. I'm just gonna take a little drink of water here. There we go. So here's just me. I'm doing the latigo. Yeah, I take. I'm. I'm slow at. I'm. I'm slow at doing that. Sorry, you guys. This is the part where horses are probably just like, oh my gosh, yes. We're done. We're done riding. Thank you. So we're just doing up. I always have trouble with putting the little thing through that thing, whatever it's called. I always have trouble with doing it. It's And here's me deciding whether or not to put it through or not, and I decided not. And yeah, we're just gonna go pop it, pop that up. I was gonna say ploop, <laughs> ploop that up. I don't know. Do do they call? Oh yes, it's a cinch, not a girth, right? 
Well, it does look more like an English girth. Um, it looks like an English girth for her saddle. It looks more like an English girth because um, maybe if it's her better, not like a Western cinch. It looks more like an English girth. So, yeah, I always like I'm I'm a shorty right now, and Sedona's pretty short. So I like I just need some help sometimes with taking off the saddle. Here we go. Don't mind that sticker. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. We just, we need, sometimes I, like, I, I didn't ask them if it's fine for their face to be on camera. I know it's, it is basically fine. But sometimes I just want to be pretty cautious, you know? So, I get, um, my saddle carried sometimes because... Um, it's a bit too heavy for me, and I am pretty small still, so it's a bit too heavy. And here is me waiting for the saddle to be put on. Yeah, <laughs> and here we go. Pop on the... To be honest, I always forget where her bridle rack is. Um, yeah, it's funny to admit, but I do always forget. So, yeah. Okay guys, so that is going to be it for today. I hope you had I hope you enjoyed watching this and I will see you in the next vlog. I hope you love this vlog and have a good day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.